it was just they they put the little goals on top of the the hoops and it would we all remember just shooting it up and I'd always be the tallest one so I just shoot it miss get my rebound shoot it miss get my rebound so it's that's I just remember being tall and everybody and just playing and have everybody run with the ball it was those are the good old days my dad played in high school but and he played football he played all sports he went to a small high school so and neither of my brother or sister played they they tried to get him into sports but they really they really didn't like it and I was I was always tall and I just loved basketball from the start so. You kind of had to work your way up. I started off like on freshman, the freshman team, and then I got moved. I barely got made the varsity cup my sophomore year, and it was one of those things where I just, I was like, you know what, forget this. I'm just gonna play JV. The coaches, he's not, he's being too hard on me and stuff. And then, then I talked to my mom and stuff, and she just was like, just push through it, Tanner. You can do whatever you put your mind to. It. Some people in my position graduate, so then I was, me and the other 6'10 big guy were just put on spot. So, and then that's when I really just started coming into my own. And I think like I was one of the better players on the team that year and they did a lot through me. So then that way my senior year, I was used to everything. UNH came in really late actually, or not really late, but like towards my last tournament of AAU. I had like a few offers before then and otherwise I would, like my sophomore and uh, junior year, not even really, I didn't really wasn't getting recruited that much. It was like Colgate, ACU, um, UNH. They took me up here in the fall, so the, it was not cold at all. So they kind of got me there. But I don't mind the cold as much anymore. But I just saw they had a, a good foundation of young players. And they, most of them were from Texas, and they were obviously comfortable. New coming up here this year, would we would have a, a really good chance to be good. And especially if we all stay together and everything coming up here in my Jun uh, sophomore and junior year, we have a lot of potential. I committed before I figured out they were 6 and 24, so that kind of scared me, but Coach Herring does things right up here, and he had a lot of young talent. It's nice, it's nice to have and like see myself and stuff, but in the end, I wouldn't have it without my teammates and our success. Like if we're whatever, six and 24 like we were last year, we wouldn't, I wouldn't have these accolades. I wouldn't be like getting these awards and everything, but I think it's due to my teammates and how they're playing hard and we're winning games. I could care less about these accolades. I would love to go to the tournament with my team and experience that. That would be way better than winning any of these just individual awards. I would love to go as a team and represent America East in the NCAA championship or tournament.